Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Feathering Human 505 and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. In the previous episode, we went into, into the still zone and did the first dungeon. Got the stuff for the, the Link stuff. I don't know what to call it. And it was pretty good. I enjoyed doing that first dungeon. I look forward to seeing more in the future. Now though, we found Minister left, and we're going to be following her over to wherever the heck we're going. She's kind of been dragging me forward actually on her own here, because I wasn't moving. And then she said, you're falling too behind, hurry up. <laughs> so I guess I'm just going to follow her now. Take my pee out with me, because that's important. Yes, I'm coming. Stop turning around and looking. Jeez. Right in here, princess. <laughs> Hello, sir. Pardon us. But my name is Left. Lady Impa is my colleague, and... Who's that? I'm a very busy man. No time for chatter. Now get. I'll apologize for the unannounced visit, but please, will only be a moment. No, no, no. I'm about to leave. Come back later. If you could just hear us out. I said no. I've got to go save Link. Hmm. Hang on here. That's Link's cloak. So why do you have it? Did you see him? Well. What? This guy's got a voice going on on him. Okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the rifts and anything you know about the swordsman. Hmm, mm, I understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation, princess. Whew, we finally got through to him. Alright, this has been bugging me ever since you barged in here. What is that floaty thing? So you can see me too. That's strange, Zelda's always been able to, but now both of you can as well. You're telling me we're the only ones who can see you? That's odd. Indeed, such a fascinating and, might I add, adorable creature. Yeah, yeah, sure. But back to the matter at hand. What is it that you and I have in common? You both ended up in rifts and lived to tell the tale. It seems the rifts change people somehow. Oh yeah, I guess I should introduce myself. The name's Lewberry. I'm Impa's older brother. And the swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapon, the Sword of Might. Mr. Lewberry, why did you make him a sword? Prim Princess, remember that big, nasty blue fella who captured you? The sword was for taking him out. See, I spend my time researching Hyrule's history and its rifts. For ages now, rifts have appeared, and sometimes folks have ended up in them. Those unfortunate enough to be pulled into a rift vanish without a trace. After which, townsfolk would say they've been stolen away. Anyhow, Link made it his mission to fight the monsters that come crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folks from going missing, and I've been helping as I am able to. Which is why I made him a sword, one that's effective against the rift monsters. The Sword of Might, Princess Zelda's wielding, is the very one I had hoped would be of use to Link. So Link was helping out with the rifts as well. Plenty of monsters come out of rifts, but that blue one was particularly powerful. I've got a hunch that if we take him out, he'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Princess, you shared that, shared that Link managed to take the blue guy out. And yet the rifts keep coming. Clearly we're missing something. The rifts in the forest or the rift in the forest is gone, but Link's not back. What we need is more information. I may have something useful. When I was taken by the rift in Hyrule Castle, it felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift I was pulled into was at Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in a rift in the forest. So how did I end up over here? Or over there? Rifts don't follow the same rules as your your world. Things connect differently inside them. My friends had mentioned something about oversized rifts in the other areas. We might end up finding the king and other missing people in far-off rifts. So maybe Link is somewhere else then. 
Hey, Zelda. I'm gonna fly up high to look for some of the other big rooms. I think I found some. There's no saying where Zelda's father and the others might be, but I did so spot some big rifts we can go explore. How high did you fly up? <laughs> I've marked them on your map, Zelda. If we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your father and the others. So let's get to work, Zelda. <laughs> Princess Zelda, I must insist that you refrain from going to any more dangerous rifts. That's up to her to decide, Minister. I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. During this time of crisis in Hyrule, we all have to play our parts. Princess Zelda included. <laughs> you make a salient point, Mr. Blueberry. <laughs> Princess, I urge you to go with Try to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them, and save all the people who are mis who've gone missing. Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rifts. We'll play support for the princess. Oh, of course. Investigations are my specialty. <gasps> princess, the rifts marked by Tri are located in the Gerudu Desert and Jabal Waters. Please let me know if you require further information. Alright, princess. I leave it to you to find the king, General Wright and Link. Mm. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. That sword you've got there, pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is. I'll have to do more research on it though, so talk to me later if you're interested. Bye. I'll be here helping Mr. Lewberry investigate the rift so we can better support you. Princess, how can I help? Uh. I keep thinking about His Majesty, the General, and Link. I hope that by mending the rifts, they'll be returned to us. Right now, there are- yeah. oh, that one we really read. Uh. You want to chat about the sword, huh? As I mentioned before, the Sword of Might is my craftsmanship. Oh. For a while now, I've been researching a type of crystal that's sometimes left behind from the rifts. In my research, I discovered that it's highly effective against rift monsters. Ah, and it appears you have some of that blue crystal with you. I ended up calling it Might Crystal. It's what I forged the Sword of Might from, in fact. During my investigations into the rift, I met Link, who's from Southern Vi Village. I made him made the sword for him, and the rest is history. Link's made good use of the sword. Meanwhile, I've continued forging things with the Might Crystals. See that machine in the corner? I decided to enhance the sword. Yeah, look at that. Looking at that sword, it seems like it's lost some of its power. Well, once we enhance it, it'll be back to its original state. You should give it a try. All you need it to do is bring me some might crystals. Uh, I think actually more energy would be better. And since I have enough to do it already. Sure thing, leave it to me. There. Now we won't shift back into just Zelda so quickly, because I noticed that happened fairly quick in Ooh. that dungeon there. Ooh. Okay, let's look at my map again. I guess we'll just go that way. That's the direction it's kind of showing right now. Right, that allows us to warp. Oh, that's just flattering. Wanted, Princess Zelda. If sighted, send word to the King of Hyrule. It's not a very good drawing. So that's great. Gives me a uh, Tales of Symphonia vibes with the ugly Lloyd drawing. Yep. Yep. 
sends this what back to the town. Let's see if there's anything new going on actually down here. We can use the path that goes up to the field now that the rift is gone. By the way, stranger, that cloak of yours, did someone give that to you? It's just that it looks exactly like a, one a young man from this village wears. Yeah. Hey. Can you believe it? My wife is back home, safe and sound. I didn't know what to do when I saw her swept up in that rift. So anyway, that cloak of yours, it's just like Link's. It's... is that what's in style right now? Hello there, Traveler. Mind if I bend your ear? Things have been a bit of a mess lately with the rifts and monsters and whatnot. It's got my wife worried sick. I was thinking I'd cheer her up by bringing home something rare. I go... So I go on a little walk, and what do I find? A giant plant that flies. But you wouldn't know near those deep caves in the forest. I lose sight of the thing. Now I'm half convinced I imagined it. I have no idea if I'll ever see that plant again. Uh, do you want me to just... There we go. That's the plant. It's been my companion for a little while here. <laughs> That's it. That's the plant I saw. Uh, you took the time to go find it for me. Well, thanks, Traveler. You should... Er, I should go grab my wife. She'll want to take a look at it. Just give me a second. Huh. This thing's not a plant at all. It's a monster. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, I really had no idea what I was dealing with. I'm sorry you went out of your way to bring it to me. But, well, there's no way I would that would have cheered up my wife. Are you sure? It was friendly. Honey, you went to all that trouble just to make me feel better. Thera, did you hear all that? Well, your voice does carry, you know. There was no need to do all that for my sake. I'm perfectly happy as long as I have my darling husband with me. <laughs> oh, shucks. You've always been good at making me blush. Once things settle down, Othera, what do you say the two of us do some traveling? <laughs> that sounds nice. Tonight, let's think of a place to go together. You got it. Thanks for bringing me what I asked for. Here's something for you. You got a mic crystal. You can use it for enhancements at Blueberry's home. <laughs> Honey, what about Seaside Village? I hear Lake Hylia is lovely, too. Mm. Dear, there's no need to decide now. You've got all the time in the world to mull it over. Okay, well see, I don't know if I'm going to spend time doing every, like, side quest type of thing like that. That'll take me a while to do, so I doubt I will spend the time making sure to get all of those, unless they're just that quick and easy to do. There probably are a lot of them that are just show the person an echo or something. I think that's kind of just it for this village, though. Probably nothing else to look at. I've been told that my husband kept calling to me when I was trapped in the rift. If he'd been the one to get stuck, I'd have been too scared to approach it. That's made me fall in love with him all over again. I'd be embarrassed to tell him that. He was screaming at it. Okay, let's go forward up here then. That is truly the optimal fighting strategy here. That and Pox, those are still very good too. There is a spider chasing me. Can we please kill the spider? 
the spider is gonna try and kill me first. Spidery monster that does not spin webs, but does walk on walls and ceilings as, it e as easily as flat ground. Ooh, spiders is kind of creepy just hanging out up there. Killing my pea hat. Okay, no, I win. Echo, which I forgot to read it. Uh, here we go. Found in an in and around water, this octopus-like creature spits small rocks at its enemies with impressive range. Uh, we need a bed. Oopsie. Oh, this guy's like wrecking my stuff. trying to get up here, gosh. <laughs> I didn't want that. There we go. Look at that. Some rock salt. like constantly blocking my text here. I can't read. This is a shortcut back to the ranch. Who's the prankster that blocked it off? I hope you're not planning to go this way. The road's blocked. I might consider taking another route, but that feels like admitting defeat. Uh, can I at least break some of it? Not as if standing here is going to get the junk out of my way. Huh, not sure much longer I can wait. Just wait here. Oh, it's clear. And with the road cleared out, I won't have to break my back climbing over that stuff. You clean things up, huh? Well, thanks. That's a big help. Here's something for your trouble. Ah, a cool breeze, a clear path, and the sweet taste of convenience. And then we just clear out the rest anyway. I just moved one thing. Uh, we 
can just keep making our way maybe over to that ranch, I guess. Oh, what is that, a bird? Ow. You can do it, P-Hat. Maybe not, that thing is like a high ground here. Uh oh, I need to find a different way to play that. And probably a rock is my best option. I don't think it's my best option. Okay, it is, I have to be careful and quick about throwing. Get off my rock! <laughs> okay, come on. Do I have anything stronger here? learn the Gui Echo. Soaring implacably above Hyrule Field, the swinged monster dives to attack prey with its sharp beak. I wonder if that one would be kind of helpful. Got some nectar that's always... Oh, this field is so big! At least we finished putting up wanted posters in the west, but nobody's seen Princess Zelda yet. First we were ordered to save her, and we're ordered to capture her. It doesn't really sit right with me to be treating her like some sort of villain. I mean, it's weird to me too, but orders are orders and all. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, we learned nothing out east in Seaside Village. Let's patrol here for now, I guess. I know they told us to find the princess, but the world's a big place, and she could be anywhere. Besides, I've got my doubts that she's as bad as they're saying. Yeah. Hello there, Traveler. Would you let us know if you happen to spot Zelda, the princess of Hyrule? We didn't find her in the east at Seaside Village. Let's patrol around here for a while. I'm assuming that's because they want me to go there now? But I want to go to that ranch. We'll just keep going the way we're going. This is a pretty big field out here. What does this say? Beware of wolfos. Uh, beware of wolfos aren't my main concern right now. I'm more being aware, aware of the... Scary evil bird. It's a bird fight. Nice work, bird. Are we, are we gonna charge it, please? Trying to fight the scary thing before it fights me. Ow! I don't think that's a thing you can fight actually. I think it just grabs you in order to create more enemies. So it's probably better to try to always avoid it. Yeah, we're going to that ranch. That's what I want to see right now. We gotta fight this one. I need to get that heart piece. Nice work. The bird's not too bad.
Uh, I'm kind of shifting a little bit away from where I want it to be. Well, I'm not actually. There is a marker that was down there. I made it to the ranch. I remember the ranch I had. Oh, that, sorry. That's just a. Uh... Had you not opened the road, I'd never have reached Hyrule Ranch. Now that I'm here, I can ride the horses and fill my belly up with fresh milk. Mm. I'm breaking your boxes. Don't mind me. This waypoint has been recorded. Nice. This thing is failing to fight the Octor Rock, and it is perfect. Oh, I know they got him. Hang on. Uh. Maybe not. There we go. The Tektite. Resembling a pond skater in action, this creature hops across the surface of water, jumping higher every third hop. Guys, it's not Leapfrog. What are we doing? How are we doing with where we're kind of exploring? I'm just kind of walking the perimeter around the ranch. I'll save the ranch for... Seeing if there's anything I can do within the next, like, episode here, since we're already just about done. I'll keep this one shorter. Oh gosh, that thing wants to kill me. I don't even need to fight it. I'm not gonna fight it. Where am I? am I? I'm just like scaling as high as I can here. We got a much larger rift here. But we don't need to be here. Oh, there's a poster. Who'd put a poster here? That's just gonna get hit by the rift eventually and it won't matter. which is not what I'm looking for right now. Oh, I completely missed the, uh, mark here. The waypoint. I did not even see that one. I feel like he said hey for me.
Oh, okay. Whoever this guy is. Yeah. Hello, I'm the stamp guy. I've loved stamps since I was a tiny tot. Now I'm Hyrule's hugest stamp fan. Bet you're curious about this stand. This is a stamp stand. A stand for stamping stamps. Aren't stamps great? That plunk when you press one down. To leave a stamp behind, plunktacular from start to finish. That's why I love a stamp rally. Traveling for stamps, collected them all. Sounds fun, right? Well, I've created a stamp rally with stamp stands all over Hyrule. Ready to rally? I bet you're you're rally 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 excited. Ah, uh, no. Sorry, I must have waxed my ears. What'd you say again? Ready to stamp rally? No. Okay, he's just gonna loop me forever on that. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Okay, here's your stamp card. I don't like this guy. He flew from the sky and he's forcing me to get a stamp rally. <laughs> you got the first stamp card. And Zelda does not look amused about it. This stamp card is for stamp rally beginners. It was handmade by the stamp guy and it looks like it. I know you're gonna have fun because I had fun making it. Now get a stamp then, like you've never stamped before. What in the world was that? <laughs> Great work, what a stamp. Look for stamps like this all over the world and get every stamp. But hey, there aren't many any stamps underwater or any or in buildings. And they're not in caves either. That'd be way too dangerous for my taste. I'll give you a reward if you fill up that card with stamps. Push yourself to find them. Okay, all together now. Ready, set, go stamp rally! As he just does his little happy jig over there. Anyway, stamp rally aside, that's gonna be it for the episode here. So, I'm gonna, actually I wanna see if I can quickly take a look at it here. Where's my stamp thing? I wanna look at that image again. It looks stupid. Stamp rally, where can I look at it? Or can I not? Oh, look. No. Uh. Oh, here. Yeah, like, what is this? Beautiful. I don't want to know, but it's something. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for the episode, so thank you all so much for watching. Next time, we're going to go look at more about the ranch here, and then I guess we'll start making our way down to that lower area where this marker is, because that was the next thing that's close by before we go over here, which I imagine that's the Gerudo vill Village stuff. Well, maybe. I'm not sure. Probably is. But anyway, that's going to be it. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.